What's up guys, Marcus here. Today I'm going to be talking about The Irishman. And if you want to watch more reviews like this, uh, leave a like and subscribe. The Irishman is the new Scorsese movie. It's a Netflix original. It is 3 hours and 30 minutes long. It stars Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Joe Pesci. And it's a very, very good movie. The acting was amazing, especially from Al Pacino, who was my favorite actor in the movie. And Robert De Niro is brilliant. Without his amazing acting, the, the aging of the character, because the movie is not in chronological order. So we see De Niro's character, Frank Sheeran, from uh, being like very young to being almost dying. So his performance sold the, sold the character for me. The makeup was great, everyone everyone's makeup was great it's hard to the to make that aging process great even with even the aging characters which i think they use cgi for but either way it was very great it was barely noticeable especially paired with everyone's acting because their acting makes you feel like the characters are actually aging because the characters start to have mannerisms uh, when they're getting older so like old people would do, like oh, walking some way or, you know, it's hard to describe, but they're acting with those tiny movements and th those things they do to show that they're getting older, not just uh, visually like their body, but the way they move, the way they talk, their acting made that process be much more believable, which is, of course, due to great actors and great direction from Scorsese. Visually, it's pretty great. There's some very pretty and intricate shots that really stood out for me. It's one of the most well-directed movies this year. I loved it visually. Um, I don't know, I would say it's Parasite-level cinematography. I think that's fair. Also, even though it's very long, you don't feel the runtime, uh, especially since it's on Netflix, so you can just pause and start watching whenever you want. Of course, that's not the the best way to watch the movie, and <laughs> probably not the way Scorsese meant for you to watch it, but a three hour and a half long movie, uh, I think sometimes you just have to pause and go to the bathroom, you know? But I didn't love this movie. I thought it was pretty great, but I didn't love it. I had a similar experience to the one that I had with The Godfather, which I actually enjoy more than The Irishman, is that I couldn't get an emotional attachment to the characters given how bad they are, you know? Uh, however, in the end, when De Niro's character, Frank, is old and he's dying and his daughters abandon him and he feels like he wasted his life and that he lost the power that he once had, I actually felt bad for him. So that's why I think that his relationship with his family should have been explored more than it was in the beginning of the movie. Instead of focusing so much on the things with Hoffa and Russell, even though those things are integral to the story. But we only get an insight into his relationship with the one of his daughters. If we had gotten more, maybe it'd be easier to sympathize with him. It's a great film. I'm kind of disappointed because everyone is saying it's a masterpiece or whatever. But for me, it wasn't that good. I still definitely recommend it. I was never bored. I just wasn't that invested in the characters. However, given its quality and... Me try to be as objective as possible. I give it an 8 out of 10, even though subjectively it was more like a 7. But the sheer quality of the direction of the acting and the story was pretty great. Just the characters that I think aren't perfect, but I still really, really, really recommend this movie. I mean, it's a Scorsese movie. I would, I would always recommend a movie of his, so yeah. Uh, you should watch it. It's on Netflix, so pretty easy to find. And yeah. 8 out of 10. Yeah, if you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Yeah, see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.